So you gonna do that by yourself? No, so that's what you're saying right now. If you've been to the school, you know who we are, and you you trying to you say you trying to get yourself together. I got you. Watch this. Give me uh first uh Corinthians. Hold. It. Give me first Corinthians chapter ten and verse thirteen. Break it up. I'm about to show you something real quick. All right, because you said you've been going through stuff. I want you to look around all these brothers out here. We go through stuff every single day. But that's the reason why we are together, because there's strength when we come together. Read what you got. The book of First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. It says every temptation that happens to us is common to man. Ain't nothing you going through that somebody else ain't been through. All right, so we keep reading. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. It says, God is not going to let you be tempted above that you are able. Watch this, read. But with, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. It says, with that temptation, he's going to give you some way to get out of that, that situation you're going through. What do you think that, uh, that, that way to escape is going to be? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Help it, help it, my uh, sword. Things like that, stand in my word. Ecclesiastes for. Watch this. I'm about to show you. All right, like you 100% right. How we get out? How we escape these uh, conditions? That matter of fact, in Hebrews 10, how we escape these conditions, bro, is by coming together and by being with like-minded individuals. Because if I don't know something, if I'm going through a trial I've never been through, and I don't know how to get through it, I got brothers. One of these brothers has been through what I've been through. I'm gonna go through them and ask them, "Hey, bro, I need counsel. How do I make it through this situation?" Read. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 yeah. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together It says not forsaking the assembly Meaning when we go through stuff We ain't supposed to just sit back and be like Man you know what I don't need to be around nobody I'm going to sit back and figure this out by myself right. The Bible says not forsaking the assembly Read As the manner of some men Because some men do that thing They get sensual They say you know what They That's a lack of understanding when you say You know what I got to separate so I can fix myself And then I'll come back around Read but exhorting one another, and so much more as ye see that they approach. It says the purpose of us congregating and coming together is exhorting, meaning building each other up, correcting each other. Hey, bro, I see you going through this, and you handle it this way. You might want to do it this way to get better results. That's the whole purpose of congregating and coming together. Ecclesiastes, I mean, so yeah, get that, 4, 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Two are better than one. It says two. Two people are better than one. Why do you think that is? So, so you won't be, uh, you won't go through it alone. You can, you know, say have somebody to relate to. Exactly, read. Because they have a good reward for that labor. They have a good reward. So if them two are working together. That good reward is gonna be ultimately Lord's will. They're making the kingdom because all throughout they walk, what they gonna be doing? Correcting each other, building each other up, exhorting each other, saying, showing each other the better way to how to handle a situation. Read. For if they fall. The one will lift up his fellow. It says one of them, if he fall, because we know we all going to fall. But if you alone, you ain't got nobody to exhort you and build you back up. That's the purpose of us congregating, Read. Right? But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. What does woe mean? Destruction to him that's alone. Why do you think somebody would be alone? Uh, why do you think they would be alone? Yeah, why do you think somebody would separate themselves when trials come? Oh. 
Well, in my case, I wouldn't say it was like, bro, well, well, when it started off, it was, I mean, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of, lot of little different things, but just to answer it in generally, is because you let, you let the enemy in, you let the seed of doubt in. You let the seed, I'm glad you said that, a seed of doubt. Get Mark chapter four and verse 40. I'm about to show you something real quick, all right? You, you are 100% right. That's a seed of doubt. That's something that the deceiver is planting in your mind that you're not good enough. That because you're going through this, you don't need to be around nobody. Let's see what God calls that. Read. Like Mark you know. chapter 4 verse 40. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful? It says, why are we fearful? Another word for fearful is doubt. Why do you have doubt? Why are you so nervous or, or, um, or work like, yeah, stressing over this situation that you have no power over? Why? Read that. How is it that you have no faith? God said, when you are fearful, when you are doubting, when you are worried about this stuff, it's because your faith is very, very weak. That's what the Bible says. So, bro, how you build your faith up is being around the brothers, being around, not forsaking the assembly. Because like I said, we all go through trials every single day because the Bible said that's common to man. And you got to know, once you put on them fringes, once you proclaim that you're an Israelite, even more trials is going to come. That's, hey, that's what it is. We even more trials gonna come to prove you. Either you're gonna uh, make it through that thing and be shining as gold, or you're gonna let those trials crumble you and, and destroy you. Give me some rock too. Read what you got. The book of Ephesians chapter four, verse three. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. It says we gotta fight to endeavor and keep that unity because with that unity, when we in one mind comes peace. That's how you get peace in your trials and your situations, bro. You got to honor the brotherhood. You got to yeah. honor the Lord, bro. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.